My girlfriend was. My wife was. My daughter was. My little sister was. My aunt was. My granddaughter was. My grandmother was. My sister was. My mother was. My girlfriend was. My mother was. My sister was. My daughter was. My niece was. I was. I was. Rebecca McDaniel and Aline Lesnar are rape survivors. It was anger, it was sadness, it was, I was in shock. I was feeling ashamed and broken and alone. Not alone, they are Cal State Fullerton students with a message, step up and stop it. It is adjusting to 21 miles per hour. Stay tuned for complete updates on this weather that's settled in for the next few days. In the time it takes you to brush your teeth, one woman in America is forcibly raped. In Aline's native Sweden, rape is rarely discussed. I use my art to heal. This is a drawing I have done, who's showing a, new, a person that I become after the rape, a person who's more quiet. Aline's nightmare was caught on tape at this off-campus Fullerton bar. Look closely at the security video. A confident Aline enters, but a different girl leaves only 30 minutes later with Antonio Santiago, a predator, someone she did not know. I think I was drugged. It's not the same person who walking out. It's not Aileen. I would scream, help me, and say I'm drugged and take me home. But I couldn't. Then Santiago drove 45 miles away to rape Aileen. I hear, I smelling, but I can't open my eyes because when I open my eyes, everything is blurry over and over again. I said, please stop, please stop, don't hurt me. And the only thing he say is, yes, let me do this. This could happen to you. Date rape drugs are debilitating, but often evade detection. Typically, they're dropped into drinks. 90% of all rapes occur when alcohol is involved, and college-age students are the main targets. My message to men is, I need you to step up and stop it. I need you to partner with us and become part of the solution. You have to get out of your comfort zone yes. sometimes. You have to go do things you would not normally yes. do. Aline's solution began with Cal State Fullerton rape counselor Susan Levy. Aline learned to fight back in many ways, and that helped sentence her rapist to three years in prison. I took the power back. It's, it, right now, it's me who had the power and not him anymore. Rape is an act of violence. And if the person you're with does not say yes, then you must, you must stop. Because if they want to continue, they'll let you know. Unless they say yes, it's sexual assault. It's an act of power and control. Healing is what the Women's Center is all about. It's time for men to start stopping themselves, to be in charge of their own um, environment, to be in charge of taking care of people. Because we're all people. Rape isn't a woman's problem. It's a societal problem. Every man has a mother, a sister, a niece, a cousin, who I'm certain he would not want to be in that position. Aline's amazingly supportive boyfriend has a message for men. For a guy, it's easy to say it's just sex, what's the big deal? You have no idea the emotional and the, the stress and the depression and the anger and the anxiety and everything that comes with it. It's a violation on such a, such a personal level so close to you that you can't even describe it. There's just no way you can, you, you can put into words what it is. I don't think you can understand until you see it in someone you love. Also traumatized, Carl got counseling at the Women's Center too. As photo editor of the Daily Titan, he documented the emotional wreckage. I took this photo of Eileen the day after she was raped. Just this scared little girl wanting to be held and sought comfort in her teddy bear. Before the rape, um, she was just a ball of energy. It could burst out and do something spontaneous that would just crack you up. She was so outgoing. 
Carl and Aline are exceptions. 60% of couples don't survive this kind of trauma. And unlike Aline's case, most rapes are not committed by strangers. 84% are just like Rebecca, who know their attacker. Calling date rape or acquaintance rape is not good enough. I think that it needs to be called for what it is, an emotional attack. It changes that person forever. Rebecca's ordeal began at a party on Fullerton's Fraternity Row. Alcohol and guys fueled a dangerous mix. I didn't want this to be happening and told him, stop, no, you know, get away. And he continued to, to touch me. I was thinking, how could I have, have let this happen to myself and that it was my fault? It's really important to get counseling after an assault because post-traumatic stress syndrome is a real thing. There's often um, nightmare flashbacks. There's an elevated startle response. The self-blame is so huge that in order for them to get to the point where they believe that it wasn't them, that they didn't deserve it, that they aren't dirty, um, that they didn't ask for it, they need help finding themselves again so that they don't have those feelings. It helped me immensely. It made me a happy person again. It made me feel, it made it feel okay to be happy that I was a good person inside and that I didn't have to be so angry towards everybody and hateful towards every man that was in this world. If you are raped, your first priority is to get medical help at the campus health center. You or someone you know may need it. It's no game to Delta Chi members. Rebecca's rape did not happen at Delta Chi, but her attack was big news. Now, words like respect, listen, and gender equity have stepped up the conversation. If we notice a guy is kind of, you know, a little more, um, like, aggressive towards women, then we won't even bring him in to begin with. I really think it's you know, a horrible thing, and it's not right for someone to be forced to do something that they don't want to do. If you see someone, if you see guys that don't take it seriously, what would you say to another guy to help be part of the solution? Um, I mean, you're, you could ruin your life right now, and, you know, you have, the, the decision you make right now could affect you for the rest of your life, and that's not something you want to do. They are vocal, but rape is still a silent epidemic, mainly because 85% go unreported. Aline and Rebecca did report. I think it's important to report because it's empowering. Um, it's you saying to the police and to the world, that person did something bad to me and what they did was illegal and I'm not going to take it and nobody has to take it. And I want everyone to know that this thing that happened to me was not my shame and embarrassment. It was the perpetrator's shame and embarrassment. Fullerton Campus Police are here 24-7 for your safety, helping with everything from reporting to prosecuting. No one deserves to be raped. If they do so, they should know the consequences of going to jail. Prosecution, difficulties with employment, it's, it's life-altering. Knowledge is power and your key to safety. Avoid areas like stairwells, remote areas, or dimly lit bathrooms. This is an example of a potential danger zone. In the daytime, it looks harmless, but at nighttime, it can get very desolate and it can be dim. You want to either buddy up to walk through here, or you want to avoid it completely and walk around. The university police also offer RAD, the Rape Aggression Defense Course. It trains students how to escape a rapist or a violent assault. The scariest thing is just what Aline and Rebecca did they talked about rape. Make sure that you do take care of yourself to know that you're the most important person uh, in, the, in the whole picture. Step up and stop it. 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 It is time especially for males to take responsibility for their own actions and to really become involved in the solution and not always be involved in the problem itself. And I just keep hoping that education, since it's the way uh, to develop personality in so many other ways, 
I keep hoping that education will be the door through which young people will really see the evils uh, in, in any kind of a rape. And I have never at any time backed away from the most extreme punishment that I could certainly be involved with as an administrator. Uh, and I just keep hoping that at some point in my life, uh, before I leave this earth, that um, it will be seen for what it really is and that it will be reduced and hopefully at some point eliminated altogether. Step up and stop it.